Gary Grigsby's War in the East is the most detailed computer war game ever made covering the entire War in the East from 1941 to 1945. The map's 25,000 hexes allow you to fight from Berlin in the west to the Ural Mountains in the east. Using an IGO Yugo game system, players can enjoy the ebb and flow of the great battles on the eastern front. Divisions are the standard combat unit, but regiments, brigades, and Soviet Corps are also available. German divisions and Soviet Corps can be broken down or built up during play. In addition, headquarter units contain support battalions and regiments of all kinds, from artillery to engineers, anti-aircraft to assault guns. Each unit is not a single entity, but consists of all of the individual squads, guns, and vehicles that make up the unit. All combat is resolved element by element, leading to accurate results and the correct interaction of unit types and terrain. Leaders are critical for the performance of the forces in War in the East. Leader victories and defeats are tracked, leading to promotion or dismissal. Players can also expend some of their precious admin points to replace leaders. The interface provides many easy-to-access information screens, such as the Order of Battle screen and the Reinforcement and Withdrawal screen. The Commander's Report is a series of screens that provides unlimited information on your units and leaders and the weapons that comprise them. In addition, there are many tools to be used to provide information about the situation on the map. The latest information on the rail network and hexes that are enemy controlled can be quickly shown. Using color-coded borders on counters, players can keep track of the command control that is critical to maximizing unit performance. Players can also choose which of several soft factors can be displayed on the counters. Once in combat, detailed information is given on the battle while it happens. Players can choose how much information they want to see, everything from every shot that is fired to just a quick overview of the forces involved and the casualties. The air war is simulated down to the individual plane level, but an air doctrine screen allows the players to change a few settings and have the bulk of the air war handled automatically. With 14 different scenarios, players can play against the computer or against another player in games from 10 to 225 turns in length. Gary Grigsby's War in the East will provide hundreds of hours of entertainment. Are you up for the challenge?